Max, do you think the owners should stop protesting the protest? Yes, the owners are the, one that, the ones that are protesting. Let me make this very clear. Just because they seem to represent a dominant view, the players are seen to be protesting. In fact, if you force someone to participate in a ceremony that is political, and whether you like it or not, yes, a flag ceremony is political. If you say, no, it's patriotic, but if it's forced patriotism, that's not, in fact, patriotism, that's nationalism. It does become political. If you force them to participate in their ceremony, you're essentially forcing them to parrot your political speech. So you are protesting their political speech, in fact, by trying to force them to stand the way you want them to stand. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, if the NFL owners would look at the NBA and the way they, those owners are handling it, the, the latest example, and, and handling the culture clash right now, the latest example, Renadive. The King's owner, who I've been very critical of as an owner, but in terms of the on-the-court stuff, but he did the right thing. The NBA is ascending. Now, do I think the NBA is ascending because of their relationships with communities versus the NFL, which is descending? No, I don't think so. I think that's correlated. I wouldn't say it's causal, but I'm not the one making the causal argument. The owners are making the causal argument that not forcing the players to stand for the ceremony, and by the way, there is no rule that they have to stand in the, in the NFL, is causing a decline in rating, ratings, which is, even, even as the prime driver, seems like uh, an argument not well-founded in fact. So I would say, yes, it is time for the owners to stop protesting the protests. Stephen A., I would suggest if they don't want the players kneeling or otherwise what they consider protesting the anthem ceremony, simply don't make it compulsory that they are on the field during the ceremony. And well, what can they do? Well, if they don't well, want to participate, they can, they don't, they're not seen. Here's where I disagree with you. You're talking about a bigger issue. Um, uh, that, that, that resonates far beyond the field of play. And I, dis I totally agree with you there. You and I are on the same side as that, Max. Here's where I think you're missing the boat. The owners are saying, you're not protesting against the NFL, but it's affecting the NFL's bottom line. Why is it that we're wrong for bringing it to your attention that this is having a detrimental product, a detrimental effect, on the very product you're a part of and you're supporting. So when I look at the owners, and I, I don't like the rhetoric that Jerry Jones uh, elocuted months ago where he said players will absolutely stand for the national anthem. I thought he was wrong. And, you know, if you're uh, 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 Stephen Ross, who said it just weeks ago before he had to modify his statements, I think you're wrong. I think you're crossing the line. I think the points that you make are accurate in that regard, Max, but I don't believe it's wrong for an owner to sit back and say, Wait a minute. Come here, fellas. Last time I checked, y'all are part of this brand, this product, this cash cow that generated $14 billion annually, that's now up to $18 billion annually, that's projected to be $25 billion annually in a few years. And, oh, by the way, you're getting a piece of that, a chunk of that. Well, guess what? If our bottom line gets compromised, we all suffer. It's not going to just be us. It's going to be you, too. So since you're not protesting us and you're protesting society, what ails us as a society? Police brutality, racial oppression and inequality, et cetera. Since those are the issues that you're addressing and it doesn't have anything to do with us as an NFL product and brand, what's wrong with us bringing to your attention that this is something that's working against the collective interest of all of us. And we all need to come together to make sure that we handle this. The NBA, we sit here and we applaud the NBA for doing exactly that. So what's wrong with an owner saying that's the direction that we need to go well, in I moving think that's forward? Fine.